SCP-582 is called the Bundle of Stories. Now, I don't know much about this one, but judging from the thumbnail, it looks really, really cool. It's done by the rubber, and we're going to react to this animation, guys. Let's get into it. The muck had completely covered the man's form okay. and extended two additional limbs as it crashed forward. The roar of the cheering people was absolutely deafening. He cheering watched as people. the creature bashed his men and enveloped their corpses All with right. its filthy slime. Enveloped, maybe? Hello, everybody. <laughs> I'm the rubber. Hey, rubber. Today, we Good bring to see the you. SCP Foundation Keter Class Object SCP-582. SCP-582, also known as a bundle of stories, is an adaptive, self-propagating meme. It's a meme. Its primary ability is passive reality modification. I see. Any fictional account written about 582 will become a factual record of a manifestation of the entity. Oh, wow. In which 582 will carry out all actions attributed to it in the narrative. That's These interesting. These manifestations can take place at any time <laughs> and place Get off when me. specified. <laughs> If no Back specific away, location or time is given, the manifestation will occur at any opportunity that will meet the narrative's criteria. Right, surprise! 582's actual abilities within narrative are generally nebulous and lacking in detail. Okay. The most common format of a story involves the aftermath of its manifestation, ah. or a short-lived encounter, rather okay. than an explanation or justification of the events. Interesting. What is known is that 582 regularly appears capable of appearing or disappearing at any place or time. Right. And that no method of terminating or otherwise harming 582 within any narrative has <laughs> been successful. <laughs> Can't happen. 582's portrayal as a godlike entity has led to a collection of commonly featured avatars. I see. Its actual form, if extant, has yet to be featured Unknown. in any narrative. Okay. Here's a list of notable manifestations of 582. All right. Manifestation Alpha. This is the most common instance of 582. So this happens Alpha is a human over and over creature again. standing approximately two meters tall right. and wearing thickly layered robes, okay. often compared to burlap. The figure is hooded and no face is visible right. underneath. Common additional Very details mysterious. include carrying sacks or bundles of unknown contents. Okay. In addition to the appearance of heavy What's bleeding. He's so oh, Manifestation he's Alpha bleeding. is the least dangerous of its manifestations. Weird. With oh, death occurring the least in only 23% of instances. <laughs> That's still pretty dangerous, though. Manifestation Beta, a hexapodal entity appearing to be made out of molten tar. Almost like an Manifestation insect. Beta will attempt to attack any nearby humans <laughs> unprotected by certain Six preventative leg. measures. Yeah, that's scary. Manifestation Beta has appeared at like the same time as Manifestation -like Alpha glugging. on five occasions, seemingly using Manifestation Alpha as a host or a disguise. Oh, so Manifestation they work together. Gamma appears as a 100 meter wide plant like entity, oh, giving wow. off an intense white light and substantial radiation. <laughs> okay. The strength of the radiation is unmeasured, but it is enough to be fatal to humans within 6 to 10 hours. Wow. Manifestation Gamma does not appear to take notice of any outside stimuli. Okay. And on one occasion has been observed growing out of or feeding off of Manifestation Beta. Manifestation Weird. Delta. This is the manifestation in containment within the foundation. Okay. Delta appears as a poorly defined humanoid shadow. Right. Due to the nature of its containment <laughs> narrative, <laughs> manifestation me Delta is incapable of exiting its containment module or interacting with personnel. Cool. Manifestation Zeta, Zeta exists within more than three dimensions, making it impossible to properly perceive by humans. Okay. Manifestation Zeta has work? only been encountered once in 2010, <laughs> resulting in 358 deaths and a localized restructuring event. Although there were many manifestations of 582, however, its origin may be traced to an obscure American author active during the 1940s uh, and 50s. I see. The original works containing 582 were never published, Thankfully. but were discovered by several close friends and fellow amateur writers upon the author's death in 1957, uh, who I... then served as the original infection vector. I see. Below is the encounter of the author with SCP-582. Roger Legrand crumpled up the fifth text filled sheet and rocketed it towards the wastebasket. Why can't I write today? He's got writer's block. He bent over his desk and ran his fingers through his hair, resting his elbow on top of dozens it's of so discarded brainstorming sheets covered with half-formed ideas. I get it sometimes. What's happening to me? Damn it. I just want to write how I used to. Like right now, I can't think of any shorts, for He grabbed instance. a random piece of paper and began writing again. 
And then, the great Dam Ragravi, the master of language I just pulled out of nowhere, appeared to Roger and struck him with awe and inspiration. He became his muse, his inspiration, his path to better things huh. in this pitiful existence of frustration. Gotcha. Ah. He ripped the sheet to shreds and tossed it over his shoulder. It sounded cool folding though, buddy. his arms and laying his head down on his it desk. It sounded cool. Why didn't you roll he with that? He stayed like this for a few <laughs> moments before being struck by the peculiar feeling that something was watching him. Okay. Slowly, he turned to look behind him. A tall, man-like figure stood there with a featureless face visible under its hood and dressed in several heavy layers of a coarse brown fabric. All right. It said nothing. It simply stood there with its head angled down towards Roger. Who the hell are you? <laughs> the figure remained silent. How did you get in here? Still silent, the being in front of him raised a single finger. With no fingernail to be seen, okay. he pointed at the scraps Roger had just torn up. Uh. Unsure of what the figure meant with this gesture, he continued to stare in awe as it started to move about the room. Okay. It picked several balled up pieces of paper out of the trash and returned them to Roger's desk, smoothing them out and pointing at several key words and phrases uh. previously deemed by the man to be bad ideas. He walked over and watched the creature. So he a thought they were? Books, a tale of a family. Oh, he's giving him inspiration. The world. He looked up at the hooded thing, which had picked up the torn scraps and replaced them on the surface in front of Roger. Okay. And so he understood. He's piecing it he together. He had found a being that could be manifested when written about. Ah. Uh, it was something that could literally change the world. <laughs> he became inspired. Yeah, it changed change the world, all right. Discovery and began frantically writing out notes and ideas. Well, he's inspired now. This time. <laughs> he never noticed the creature he now knew as Ragravi disappear. But huh. he knew that he'd meet it again. Right. As he fell deeper and deeper into a writing frenzy, so he, he came to many about realizations, it so it came to many life? stopped thoughts, and many epiphanies about the thing he had found. Or did it just manifest for him because it was respect. written about him? This so was did he create him or just praise. summon him, kind of? This was something that Roger was born to do. And so the first scribe of Ragravi came into existence. All right. It wasn't hard to find people to join in the belief. Wow. After all, it was a religion it's based like a on religion. a figure whose existence and power could be proven at literally any time. Now, First came Roger's close <laughs> that's pretty friends, easy to get followers for then. Until they numbered about 50 people. But soon enough, a wolf came to tear the believers asunder. Okay. They filed into the warehouse silently. But even so, their black tactical clothing made them distinctly noticeable among the sea of brown robes. Sure. Laughter and talking transformed into silence in the space within just a few seconds. The screaming began when the agents drew their guns and began yelling and cornering them. Trying to the contain The hood fell to the floor, severed from the rest of his outfit uh. by the attack, revealing a faceless head with large, bloody holes scattered oh, across the gosh. surface. gosh. Several of the hooded figures <laughs> shouted in surprise delight surprise at the delight? appearance of the entity, which simply stood tall and silent. The blood began flowing more. They freely, thought that was cool. Like, oh, that's what he looks like. Cool, man. <laughs> Jerome, Jerome, kill it and kill them quickly. Burn the building down if you must. Wow. The man Why would he be killing them, though? Sprinted off as they didn't Jacob want to contain it? Lifted the cone, shouting at the crowd with the tall, dirty figure remaining steadfastly erect in the center. Instantly, the faceless man seemed to shift to the front of the crowd, oh. with his arms and legs yeah, that's, like a star. <laughs> that's scary. Each blast shredded its already rough outfit, right. punching red holes all across its form. Agents were now openly firing at the crowd, but Not the beast seemed to Whoa, catch the each and every bullet with its own body. <laughs> As this continued, the ruby color dripping from these wounds darkened <laughs> and a bubbling black liquid began seeping out. Oh. No. No. Jacob attempted to shout yeah. once more. Y'all did it. Nothing more than Y'all did it. Not yet. I can't be finished yet. He threw the object in his hand aside. <sighs> Useless relic. God help me. God help me. A relic that he was he trying to use. He up at the scene. The muck had completely uh, covered the man's form. Boy, and that extended is two additional looking. limbs as it crashed forward. This was the part from the beginning, the okay. The roar of the cheering people was absolutely deafening. He watched as the creature bashed his men oh, and enveloped their corpses with its filthy slime. I'm not ready yet. So it's consuming them? I have so them? much left to accomplish. 
I can't die here. Not now. He was still reaching for his pistol when the creature's front leg slammed through his chest. Oh my god. The last the glimpse of the mortal chest. world Jacob Hunt experienced was utter blackness, wow. surrounded by the cacophony of defeat. Dude, that was really, really cool. The fact that this thing turned into or manifested due to writing and then a cult that followed all around this author's works kind of reminds me of an old movie that I watched called The Mouth of Madness where things in this story actually came to life. It was a horror movie, but it was pretty good, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this animation. It was by The Rubber. Make sure to check him out, as well as a couple other Rubber reactions that I've done. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ulgen signing off. We'll see you next time. Break it down.